The Daily Bread and North York Harvest Food Banks have released a startling report today on food insecurity in the city, and they are calling for action from all levels of government. CB24's Courtney Heels live this morning at the Daily Bread Food Bank in Etobicoke with more on this. And if you sort of do the quick math on the numbers, Courtney, we're talking about 300,000 Torontonians relying on mm -hmm. food banks. That's right. We're talking about a lot of people who are relying on food banks to get by. These numbers are, are pretty grim. And really, we've been in touch with officials with food banks over the last couple of weeks and months. They've been warning that this report wouldn't be good because they are seeing the demand every single day. So this is the Who's Hungry report. And we'll go through some of the statistics that we're able to share this morning. One in 10 people in Toronto now relying on a food bank. Uh, 2.53 million visits to food banks in the past year. That's a 51% increase. Increase. And the demand, if it stays as high as it is, we, we could see as many as 3 million visits to food banks by the end of the year. Now, I want to bring in Talia. She's with uh, Research and Advocacy with the Daily Bread Food Bank. Uh, Talia, tell us how you are able to, to come together with some of these numbers. How do you compile the research? So this is a joint project between Daily Bread Food Bank and North York Harvest Food Bank. We survey about 80 food banks across the city, um, including 1,300 uh, surveys with uh, people making use of food banks, as well as in-depth interviews, to try and understand what what are the experiences of people who are accessing food banks? What are their stories? What are their perspectives to try to understand what's really happening out there? And this is such an important topic. So you've been going over all the research, hearing the stories over the past year. What stood out to you? I mean, I was really surprised when I saw the number one in 10 people are now accessing food banks in Toronto. Last year was one in 20. So that's a huge increase. It's double the rate of last year. And we know food bank visits were already really high last year. You know, we went, it took about 30 years for us to cross the 1 million threshold in terms of food bank visits in Toronto, then it took only two years to cross the two million mark. And now it's only going to take one year to cross the three million mark. So we are seeing just this rapid increase of food bank use in the city. And it's because of what we're seeing. We're seeing uh, skyrocketing housing costs. We're seeing uh, rampant inflation. We're seeing stagnating wages and income supports that just aren't able to keep pace. Mm -hmm. And as part of your research, you mentioned you were talking to people who were showing up at the Daily Bread Food Bank, for example, they're asking for some extra help in some cases for the first time ever. What are you hearing from those people? Yeah, we've seen 120,000 new individuals come to the food bank in the past year. And for many people, you know, that's a difficult decision to make. They are coming to have to rely on charity. And these are people who maybe, um, you know, about half of them have someone who's employed in their household. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, for most of us who, um, you know, are working, we don't think that we're going to need to turn to a food bank. We think, okay, I have a job, I'm able to make ends meet, but that's just not the reality anymore. With the rising cost of housing and particular and food, more people are struggling to make ends meet. So it's a really difficult emotional decision for somebody to have to turn to a food bank. And it really shouldn't be the case. People should be able to make ends meet. Mm -hmm. So concerning to, to see some of these numbers, hear these stories. Talia, thank you. So we are going to spend the morning here at the food bank, Nick. We will continue to gather more information on this report. But there's no question. It's, uh, it's very grim, certainly giving us a good sense of just how many people are struggling right now and need to rely on organizations, charities and food banks to get by. Over to you. More evidence indeed. Okay, Courtney Hills live in Etobicoke with the Daily Bread Food Bank. Court, thank you.